Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, but this time I'm on Hout Baileron. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but that's my best shot. I'll probably just call it the French map going forward. So this is the farm you start off with. I've gone with the, the, the pretty much the standard farm, but I have changed it quite a bit. Um, I was looking to get something this time around compared to my other series on um, Elm Creek with a bit of money and all the equipment we can do so we can get straight into it. So uh, let me just give you a quick tour of the farm. I've put this shed in. This is got, going to have trailers in. I have got a third trailer. Um, I do like the fact that the, the uh, rolling packs come out because there wasn't a bale trailer in the game that uh, wasn't Dolly. So I really am thankful for that. Uh, so yeah, I've got this for trailers. Uh, I've got three of them. Um, one's just down at the bottom, which we'll show you in a second. Um, got a plow, been using it quite a bit. We'll talk about that again in a second. Uh, got a few equipment. I'm kind of storing all the uh, fields, so like the arable kit in this bit. It's already on the map. This this shed's already on the map um, on this farm. Uh, but we have got quite uh, a good range there and some bigger equipment. Um, definitely going to come in use. And it, it will be good to try out all the new things, um, all the new kind of crop types and uh, really delve into it without worrying too much about having the money. Uh, this is technically like an established farm. So I've got mulcher there, we'll, we'll be using that quite a bit going forward. Uh, this is pretty nifty, this is already on the map, this is for hay, so from what I understand I can put in loose hay um, and then obviously take loose hay out, it just looks after it. I might even be able to put grass in there. Um, it might dry to hay. I've not tried that out, but I'd have to check. But I think it is just to store hay. Um, I've got a little dog over here. Called him Toby. So, little Toby roaming around. Um, and I have noticed he just walks all over. I was in the field down at the bottom plowing. And, uh, yeah, he was in the field. So, he has no boundaries. He's definitely a free spirit. So, let's have a look at the tractors. I've got quite a few. Uh, Going with the Massey. Tiny little Massey. 3709. It is absolutely... In comparison to this big fent, which is my um, the, the beast, let's say, of the farm, it's got a lot of power. Uh, this is a lot smaller, as you can see. But I've got a little uh, front loader on it as well, um, so it will be good around the farmyard itself. Like I just mentioned about the fent, this is the beast. Um, this is the 942 Vario, I think it is, yeah. And it's it's, the, it's got the most horsepower. It's basically over 400, so we're going to be using that a lot in the fields. And as you can probably tell, I've already been at it out in the fields anyway, so... Um, it's definitely the one to use out there. Next is a fast track, really good for carting. So we've gone with that. I've uh, got a Dutch Far. Um, this is the Warrior. I'm going to use this a lot for like the grass work. So when I'm doing bales or, or doing hay or anything like that, uh, this is the grass, grass work. Um, and then I've gone with this as well, which is, I think it's pronounced steer. I think that's right. I might be completely wrong again. I'm not very good at pronouncing side of things, um, but yeah, I've got this, and this is again another f uh, around the yard and uh, picking up bales and stuff like that. But it's just got a little bit more power behind it than the tiny Massey. Uh, so I think this is a good selection. It really is nice. Five tractors there that will do the job perfectly. Got a silo that's already on the map. Also a bunker which will come in handy. Um, I'm going to have this area here. I've put gravel down in this section. And what I'm going to do is put the stones that we collect out of the field, kind of stack them up. I think it'll look pretty cool. Because uh, selling them doesn't really give you much benefit anyway. Uh, got another roller, but this one's a bit different. This is for grass care. Um, Fertiliser. Got a tally handler, but it's electric. So it's sitting here, charging away. Uh, I thought I'd try and go a little bit more economical. Baler, square baler. Uh, tedder. All the grass equipment down here. Mower. And, uh, yeah, tedder. And this is a field that I've created into grass. Um, and I do want to get into the grass side of things because it is completely different now. It really is. Like this here, before you could paint that down, let's say, um, on FS19, you could actually put grass down and then, you know, fertilise it, whatever else. Um, but this grass is different. This is the proper grass. So if you open up the menu and go to the type of crop, but pick grass, you can see that there's only a small selection couple fields up here and a few fields up here and I've noticed as well in Elm Creek you don't really start off with grass fields so I thought I'd pl uh, plant it in myself now I did this in between me starting this series off just because it was a lot of work it really was like this field itself 
Um, I've kind of gone into it by putting that shed there. Uh, just like I said, modified it myself, put the lights up and everything. And I have mowed it down and learnt quite a lot when it comes to care for the grass. Um, and it is changed, and I think definitely for the better. But we'll get into that properly uh, throughout this series now that we've got the right equipment to do it. I've already done some bales as well. These are wrapped up. These are 5,500 litres bales. So these are the medium-sized bales. Uh, the smaller ones come out at 3.5. And, um, and the bigger ones, which I did try, comes out at 7.5. But unfortunately, you can't wrap them. So... I did have a bale of grass that I've put into my feed for the cows um, that was seven and a half. But yeah, I couldn't use it. So I have fenced off the field. I've got three entrances. One's just over there. One's here. And uh, one is there. So we've got three entrances to this field. Pretty nifty. So let's just have a quick look at the other fields while we're here. The only field that's at its... Um, original state is this one so this field 39 um, this is I've ploughed it up um, I can't remember if I actually spread lime now so let's just quickly check that so I didn't um, not in the two fields here I did do in field 38 and this grass field here uh, but this one here because it was two fields and I've made it into one which I will show you in a second um, I did actually uh, mulch it as a full withered crop which changed the state of it because it didn't need lime at that point. Um, it did actually add some fertilizer because of the fact that it was a fully withered crop, so it wasn't just the the stalks of the uh, the crop. So that's original. That's at the same state. Um, I don't know if you've been watching my episodes on on how to uh, increase your yield, get the maximum yield, and I was talking about the stones. Now this is uh, I mentioned in part two about the stones on this map in this area. Just all large stones. These are all large. Every single one. Uh, there might be a couple small ones floating about, but it is really hard to tell. So, these, as you can see, these are much bigger, and you can't roll them into the ground. So we have to pick these up with this the stone collector, and it is a big job because of the size field it is, uh, and especially with this one. And I have been testing out on this one. Now I wasn't sure if it was the size plow I was using, but I tested that out as well on um, Elm Creek, and that didn't change anything. It was still small stones on that field, um, and on here, if I used a small plow, it was still large stones. Um, I have tried. I don't know if I'll show you quickly just in here. I have tried a few things just to test out um, with the rolling and stuff. Uh, and I can roll, but obviously it's not going to roll back in because they're large. So we do need to collect these stones properly and sort this field out. Uh, but in regards to this field itself, this is two fields combined into one big field. This is going to be the money maker, um, the main focus when it comes to the arable side. And as you can see, it's 41 and 42 that I've combined together. The only problem with that is I don't know how the work is going to work out with that. So we might have to do it all ourselves. But if that is the case, then so be it. Um, it's not too much of an issue. So we're now at the back of the shed where I showed you just in there the grass uh, equipment. And there you go. So I've got a bit of an auger. Don't know if I'll ever use it, but I thought I would get it anyway because they're pretty cool. In this shed, we have the harvester gone with the John Deere T560 and the corresponding header, uh, which you can see is 625. Um, I put in these silos as well. So this one's got some seeds in it. This one's got some mineral feed in it for the TMR mixing. This one's got solid fertilizer and then we've got liquid fertilizer in that one. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, Pottinger baler, I have been using it on the, the field that you've just seen me in. This is a combi baler, combi wrapper as well. So This area itself as well, I've modified this. This is my big cow shed. It's the robot one, it's really cool. Definitely cool. Um, few negatives with it I have found, but uh, in general it is a yeah pretty. It's a pretty uh, nifty uh, shed. Definitely an upgrade on what we've seen in FS19. Um, there's a few different things about the cows, and I know I haven't perfectly landscaped this area, um, but for some reason I just can't get it to smooth out. Um, I feel like the landscaping tool is a little bit more difficult. I'll be honest on FS22, uh, but I have tried to make it um, as clean as possible. But uh, Obviously, with it being the way it is, it's not uh, perfect, let's say. Uh, so before I show you inside the shed, I'll just show you what I've had to do here. So when you put your cow shed down, um, there isn't a manure sp spawn point. Now, 
there's a slurry that's obviously built into that shed, but there isn't manure, so I had to put this this down, and I'm hoping that the the straw that I'm giving him will go into there, but I haven't seen any just yet, but it hasn't been that long, in, in, in all fairness, since I've placed it down. Uh, so hopefully that'll work. I don't know if it has to be a certain distance away. For me, that is close enough, um, and I couldn't get it any closer anyway, so fingers crossed with that. So moving on to the equipment that I've got, I've got my own TMR mixer, which is probably not going to be coming in use that much because of the fact that we've got a robot, but there is a negative to that, which I will show you, which might make me think of using this a little bit more than I intended. I've uh, got a straw blower as well. Uh, do need that. There's only one option, and that is for brown bales, unless I've missed it. Uh, but the only problem with that is I'm doing square bales. I do like square uh, straw bales. I always have preferred that. I think they stack better. And from where I am in my neck of the woods, I usually just see the round uh, silage bales, round hay bales, and square straw bales. So I'm kind of just used to that. This is my third trailer, but right now it's got some straw in it because um, I need to break the straw down, which uh, in turn made me have too much that to pick it up and then put it into that. And I will show you why that is now. Uh, but quickly, I'll just uh, show you these. This is my slurry spreader and manure spreader. So this is the area where you put in your loose products. Now, the only issue I've got with this robot, even though it is cool, the problem is you can't put bales in. So if I make a bale of silage, which I've done, as you've seen, I can't put the bale in here. It needs to be loose. So for me to get it into there loose, I have to obviously take the wrapping off the bale, stick it into the TMR mixer, and then just blow it back out into this, which is a bit of a pain, in all fairness. It really is. They should make a trigger there for bales. Uh, but it is nifty. Um, you've got a section here where you can add mineral feed, uh, so that goes into that silo. Then you've got your silage, your straw, and your hay. Dead simple. You'll notice on the hour, every hour, which I will show you in a second, I'm sure it's on the hour, so at 11 o'clock, this door shuts. It kind of looks like this with a bit of a mesh. Um, the robot itself, uh, that arm comes across, like got a, a hopper on the bottom and a bit of a grabber. It grabs this, that, and then that, and then also some mineral feed, pulls into this robot. This door opens, the robot just casually comes out, starts walking up and down here, or, well, not walking, because it's, it's a robot, but you know what I mean, and it goes all the way down and drops the feed, and it is pretty cool, it really is. Uh, but you can also drop your own bales in here, like, you can stick bales, and they will uh, empty into the feed, but you can't put straw in, in a bale, you have to put loose straw in, so that's why I've got the straw blower. Uh, I've been sticking square bales in there. Uh, but I do like how the straw now goes directly into the bedding, area so the pens uh, here which uh, you might be in real life putting sawdust down or straw whatever it is uh, this is where it goes so it's pretty cool uh, so that's the the pen itself i don't know if anyone else has noticed as well the prices now for cows have gone down dramatically they really have um as you can see i've got holstein there 20 of them 78 pound for a cow that's crazy i mean that is a lot cheaper than real life really is uh, but the house going up um, i got them at the same age which was less than 18 months um, productivity is going up milk's obviously still at zero uh, it hasn't been long full-on uh, straw slurry starting to move up which is nice to see and um, as you can see the tmr is going up gradually over time from the robot i've put some hay in because it was loose and left over and i also put that one grass bale which I told you it was seven and a half thousand liters. So it does look pretty good. Now, you don't have to worry about water anymore. It says here, barns have built-in water supply. So now some animals also require straw. Feed them any of the following food types for best results to provide the most effective food type, which would be TMR, which is what we're doing. So as time progresses, we'll see a little bit more to this because it is early days on this shed and the cows. Uh, so we will definitely see a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, my uh, landscaping was a bit horrendous here, uh, especially here when I'm driving in. Uh, but it's the best I can do. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so many cows, not too bad. I will show you the price, actually, of the cows if you wanted to buy some more. Um, where's the trigger gone? The majority of this episode is going to be me just showing you around the farm. I'll try and get more done than that, but in general, it is just going to be looking around the farm. So, as you can see, I've got 20 cows. Now, I bought 20 Holstein. Uh, they're £200 a, 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 a a cow but they are calves they're newborn calves zero months and you can pay a lot more for 12 months kind of st skip ahead in the uh, age of the cow so you can obviously start reproducing and also making milk and stuff 
Uh, but I haven't really tested this out. I don't know if I'll get milk straight away. I imagine it shouldn't be like that. It should be like Seasons, the original Seasons, uh, the modded version. Uh, but without testing or trying it out, I am completely um, waiting to see what the case is with that. But I imagine with me buying the, the, the newborn calves, it's going to be a certain amount of time. Now, I don't know if it's the 12 month before the start making milk i doubt it i think it might be the 18 month whereas you can buy the 12 month and they'll start reproducing which would make sense but then you i don't know if it's going to be a certain amount of time but we'll keep an eye on it and to see if it does state a little bit of information of if one's in car for example if they start milking i'm hoping to get a little bit more information on the menu when we get to that but you can see the price does jump up so i thought i'll start off with some newborns and we'll, we'll build up to that. So I did get 20. I think that's a good point to start. And they do require quite a bit of food, as you've already seen. So 20 cows. How it's £78. If you want to sell that, it was 200 Bit of a hit, that is. But I'm not going to sell them anyway. Uh, but the age is there. Uh, reprodu reproduction is ages less than 18 months. So I, don't, I think this goes up in percentage as it's getting older. So it's not going to take long because... Every month's just one day, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but that's that's going to be the main aim of this farm. It is a dairy farm now, and uh, we're going to be doing some big fields as well for the arable side. So there's yeah, keep it'll keep me busy, and there'll be a lot to do. Um, so I will wait for that to tick over. I'll skip time a little bit so we can see the robot in action because it is pretty cool. Um, and then I also just want to show you quickly. I made one tiny little grass field just to the side here. So we've got um, if I just quickly go to there we go. You can see that I've got two grass fields. Field 38 that's obviously taken a bit out of it for the shed. Uh, I've got two big fields, well, one massive field and then a big field here for some form of arable, which I am going to be doing wheat. That's the aim. Um, and then I've got a grass field here. Um, it is June, so I've missed all this type of crop for planting, uh, but that is what I intended anyway. I intended to get the farm set up and then get something planted probably around September time. We'll do some wheat if we can get the fields ready by then, we should be able to, and then we can start harvesting next year in, Ju in July. That's the aim going forward. I think it'll be fun as well, because uh, I do like this map. In general, I have to say, the fields and the way it's laid out so far for a farm is better. This map is definitely better than the Elm Creek. I mean, I always think that giants make these maps knowing that people are going to go over some modded maps. It doesn't matter if you're on console, it doesn't matter if you're on PC, whatever. They, I think giants do know that they're basically giving you these maps to, to play until the modded maps come out because they're always better. They are always better at detail, um, so they are just biding their time. I think that's why they didn't make all the buildings um, accessible. Um, I think it, for them it's probably just a waste of time. I th I, and, and me personally, I'd rather import that effort into gameplay improvements so I'm happy with it. I think this farm will tide me over um, until we get and some, some of the proper maps coming out. So jobs that we can start off with now that I've shown you around the farm. I've got this all mowed up just like the other field. Now I need to bale it up um, and I also need to put the bales away that are in that field. So what I'm thinking of doing just because it has been over 20 minutes and this is just the introduction episode of me showing you around the farm. Look, Toby's just... Uh, now made his way over here. I, mean, I don't think he knows what he's doing. He's uh, he's living the dream though. Let's be honest. Huh? Don't know where he's going now. He says like a pat him or something. But he's uh, he's running off for me. Didn't like that. Um, yeah, so we'll pick up some of the bales. That's that's the aim. I'll get, I'll grab some of these bales, put them on the trailer. Probably take the trailer down there. Um, and then obviously I do need to do some wind and stuff, but the field work we're going to start off in the next episode Just to give you an idea of what we've got to do two big fields We need to get the stone collector in that is going to be a big job it really is um, and then we need to probably um, I'd say we can we might be able to roll straight away after that. I think we should be able to with us uh, Picking the stones up is going to change it to cultivating we, we can even do lime So we'll, we'll figure it out along the way as long as we get them everything that needs to be done to, to try and get the maximum yield um, I think it's uh, it really doesn't matter in the order, we'll, but we'll figure it out. So, let's get the uh, fast track out. Perfect tractor for this. We'll go get the bale trailer. And I'm going to try that new uh, bale grab that I've got. Because I haven't used one like that before, but I think it might be better when it comes to uh, unloading the bales. Uh, not too much of a problem 
when you're picking them up. It's when you're unloading them with the bale grabs that are made for rat bales. But I think this grab should work better for unloading. So I am going to stick to doing the medium sized bales. I have got one small one there, as you can see. I might have a second one up in the corner. Um, so that might cause a problem when stacking these. I am going to be looking forward to as well uh, getting into the grass work even more because the textures have changed. There's the rolling now, which does make a difference and it is more realistic. Uh, but I will save that for another episode and get properly into that because because grass work technically is a massive part of farming. And I think they've definitely put a lot more emphasis on it now. Right, so this is the grab that I was on about. Interesting in itself. But we'll see how it works. Now I think I'm going to have to grab it from a different angle. Instead of grabbing it from this side, I'm going to have to grab it from the narrow side of the bale. But we'll have a go. So bring it out to the maximum. Now I don't know if you grab it like this. Yeah, now that is good. Whoever designed that really did think about it. <laughs> because when you've got it from the side, you have to open the, the grab out, which then can sometimes shove the bales. And I think we might be able to stack more of these. Might be completely wrong, though. There you go. Just about did that. There we go. Ooh. Bit too heavy then. Now that's me getting used to this. It's uh, yeah, It's got gears, so it kind of like... It, there's a bit of a delay, basically, when I put it back into drive. Um... So as you saw then, it, it just jolted. But I will get the hang of this. I mean, it is easier with a fork, obviously. A spike, sorry, and when you can pierce the bale. But we're trying to be somewhat realistic here. Yeah. The sides might have been good for this. Let's do this now. Third time's a charm, they say. That jolt is uh, quite uh, interesting. Right, that to me is done. Problem is... Does it want to roll off? Yes, it does. Yeah, it can't, we can't do it this way, unfortunately. It seems like they don't want to sit too well on that, which makes me wonder why because there is a lip there I mean I could lift it and just test that out see they should they should uh, they should hold to be fair um, I mean if I was putting them sideways I think they'd fit better and uh, yeah they wouldn't tend to roll but you could fit more on by doing it like this so this is a, a tricky one but anyway, we've got two on. We'll carry on doing this because I've started it now. Um, but it is more tricky. It really is. But we got it on. So let's move to the other one. We'll at least see if we can get them all onto this trailer. And then maybe going forward, we might try another tra uh, grab out because I like the idea of it, but it's not working too well at the moment. Right, so I'll carry on. So you're not watching me pick up all these bales. I'll carry on and I'll cut back in when I've picked them all up from the field. And uh, I'll let you know how well it went or how bad it went.
Okay, so it's 11.50 now. Nearly 12 o'clock, and I'm just waiting to see that if 12 o'clock comes, there you go. So on the hour, you can see that this is shut down. Um, kind of a bit like a, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's I think it's metal. Some kind of fencing. Um, and the robot, I don't know if you can make it out, but it is moving across. It's grabbed some silage. It's now putting it into there, into the robot. And then it's going to go and grab some straw, do the same. And it's going to grab some hay and do the same. So I'll quickly just show you the, the straw. I picks that up and then I'll uh, cut to when it's about to come out the robot. Right, so look at it go. Just comes out of its uh, little parking garage. Um, and it just, yeah, goes on its merry way. Now, if you stand in front of it, it stops. It's like, get out of the way. So it knows there's a human being there, let's say. Um, and if you have a quick look, there is silage inside. Won't well, let me ride on it. It's like, get off. Um, but we can watch to see what it does now. I have watched this before, so I do know. Uh, it does work its way all the way up to the end. And then it kind of stops comes back down this side whilst uh, letting the feed out so it's pretty cool so I'll uh, just stand up here so you can watch it for a little bit so now it's coming down you can see the feed starts dropping and uh, the TMR will start to rise so it's at 5866. Six. No, I don't know if it all just dropped out at that point. It seems that way. And now this is just the animation. But yeah, it's dropping the feed out. And it does go down, the feed does as well. So I, I do like it, because on the hour, every hour, it's going to feed the cows. Um, as long as you've got enough TMR um, ingredients, it'll, it'll do the job. Uh, it's just a shame he doesn't accept bales. That is the only negative. So you can't go in there or else you get locked in, but he doesn't let you in anyway. So he'll, he'll go back in. <laughs> the uh, robot worker. Door will shut and it'll wait for the hour. Now, I don't know if it's every hour, every two hours. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I have noticed that whenever it does it, it's usually on the hour mark anyway. So uh, there we go. So let's just have a quick look at the bales. I stacked them up. It wasn't too bad in the end. Uh, it didn't take me too long at all, really. Yeah, but I think I do prefer maybe the other grab and put them across like that. Um, I mean, this can hold more that way, but... Yeah, I think I'm just used to it the other, the other way. I mean, I probably could try it out a bit longer and get used to it a bit more. Uh, but I do, so far, I prefer, I prefer the other grab, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, this is the field now left to do. Probably in the next episode, we'll get started with some field work. Get these ground, this ground uh, completely ready to start putting some wheat in sooner rather than later. Um, and then we'll obviously finish this up as well. I don't know whether to do some hay bales from this. Um, maybe a good idea to get some hay done. Um, or we could just do some silage and wait for the grass to grow again. And then we can do um, some uh, hay from both fields then. Yeah, it's a good option. Uh, but on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.